Hello guys and girls, Voices from the Dark here, welcome back to the Champion of Cyrodiil Challenge with Marine African Mistfire, who in today's episode has got murder on her mind. We have plenty of contracts for the Dark Potter that are just waiting to be accomplished, and in the last one, we were told of a man named Havelstein Horblood, a savage Nord barbarian up in the north, and I figured, let's pay him a visit, shall we? So Marina is gonna <gasps> hit the roads, and we are gonna talk about <clears throat> the future what is to come. Very soon, as in over the course of these next few episodes, we're gonna start doing a portal clear. Meaning, instead of just doing random portals that we find out in the wild, which we've been doing so far, we're gonna be systematically hunting them down. So, if we have a contract that's gonna take us from Leowin to Anvil, we're gonna take a path that's gonna make us hit every spawn point of portals along the way, so we can start to properly wrap them up. Because in the last episode, I believe we got up to 40 portals cleared, which is kind of insane. 40, that means we only have 20 portals left. And so, traveling out and about, we can now start <sighs> knocking them down. Meaning Paradise is one step closer, meaning Light the Dragon Fires is one step closer, meaning that's a giant axe. I think I'll take it! Wow, that was a bit too fast. Holy heck, I'm still with my Traveler's Gray spells. Got light armor though, so, uh, Vance of Quang Lao. Doing their thing. Somebody on the last episode, or the episode before that, I haven't posted 203 yet. Um, oh, another. This is too kind. We're a little worried that the absorb magica effect we have on our weapon and spells don't really work, and I think it's simply that we're too far away. So look at our magica bar right now. Oof. So, as we could see, we started to drain there, so it is actually working, but I think what happened there is that we got cut off because he died too quickly. I think that was the issue there, so... I have tested it out, and it is active on both the spell and the weapon, it's just that sometimes we're too far away to really see a proper effect. <gasps> Mountain Lion?! He killed the rat. To be fair, he was a coward, so this is kind of a fitting fate. But still, to die from a mountain lion. There are no worse fates, I think. It wasn't even in a basement. It's depressing. Charge up Mother's Mercy. Uh, ding up on... Not much. Still feels hecka weird. But... We're rolling with it, and let's drink, and then Traveler's Grace. So we're stacking three travel spells right now, so just gotta keep the right ones refreshed. Hey, a kitty cat. Finished him off long ago. It's not long since we were up near Bruma. But these, the, the, the fighters killed in the dark, but they don't always take us in the directions we want them. Sometimes they sync up, which is wonderful. Do you guys remember this mine? I remember this mine. The goblins. We've actually done... Quite a bit of practice around this area. I think, did we do some sh block practice too, or am I just... Maybe that was in an earlier iteration of the series, because... What you're watching is like the third or fourth iteration. The other ones either really didn't turn out well, or was deleted off hard drives and the like. So it took a bit of effort. And Marina actually didn't used to look like she does now. She was fairly similar, but nowhere near as attractive, if I may say so. And as somebody pointed out, it's kind of a feat, making an Oblivion character that does not look like a potato. So I'm actually rather satisfied with your face, Marina. Then again, your face is nice compared to a potato, so... So this was a terrible way of getting up, uh, but if we can manage to get over here, we can take a somewhat civilized route to the top. Cause that's where our Nord Barbarian hangs out, all out in the cold. Thinking he's so cool. Let's see, that's not quite the spell I was going for there, but... Sometimes my hotkeys fail me. We must work with the results. Alright. Where is he? How do I kill a Nord Barbarian? Hmm... 
Let's see if I, had, I haven't been reading some of the last few dead drop orders. Let's read this one. Alvaluvani is dead, just like all the others. You continue to impress me, Silencer, and I'm only too eager to indulge your homicidal instincts. Well, thank you. Your next target is a savage Nord barbarian, living alone and exposed at a small campsite on the summit of Knoll Mountain. This barbarian, Havelstein Horblood by name, savagely butchered the chieftain of a mead hall on the island of Solstheim. That sounds familiar. That sounds like somewhere, um... Brynjar has been, actually, during the Morrowind adventures. <gasps> Why are there so many cute Nord girls here? I'm in heaven! You're not a girl, right? Okay. You're not a girl either. So <gasps> The chieftain's sister has foregone the Nord custom of extracting the monetary retribution of uh, were guilds. I have not seen that word before. And instead wants Horblood to pay with his life. You dare silence her to help her put her family at peace. You are to go to Nolan Mountain, locate Havelstein Horblood and send his soul to Sithis. When he's been executed, journey to the alien rune of Nornal. In the flooded section of that rune, you will find a chest submerged in water. The chest contains your reward and your next contract. Alright. No real tips on them. It's a little bit of a shame that the latter half of the Dark Brother are more go here, kill him. Instead of sort of the more elaborate setups that some of the early ones have. But it's fine. It's fine. Guess Lucian just gives contracts in a different style. Okay, we've actually been here before. Oh my gosh, and he has a dog. Ooh, if only there was something we could do with that. I'm getting flashbacks to Marina Mistfire's Sakipa's pet. Okay, he has a he has a watchdog. Okay. So, he's sleeping in the tent right there. This is gonna be the ultimate kill. This is gonna make up for uh, the Alva Luani kill not being that great. Okay. No! He's too strong for my animal allegiance! Oh! Oh! Okay, so he heard me, he saw me tossing out those spells. Now that's interesting. Can I calm his dog? Oh, <gasps> yes, I can. Oh, what's that? Is your doggy not help? Oh, that's a giant axe he has. Hello, hello, Ugush. Oh, there goes the axe too. He is gone. <gasps> Red Maw. If imagine if we could get Red Maw. If only we had like a more strong animal allegiance. Didn't we have that once? That didn't last. Let's see. That's up to level 12. What's the one? Slow. We can use our old spell. That's only 15 seconds. Uh, technically means we could have killed him uh, the way we did, but... Oh, that's nice. That's like one of the Skyrim type of mechanics, where even though he threw his weapon, you can still loot it off his body. I appreciate that. Alright, Redma. Let's scour. No way we're gonna be... Wait, so he had two axes? Yeah, because it, it did have a special effect, transmogrify. I guess he just had two axes. Okay, Red Maw. If you're gonna be like this, this is where we found the gray hood, I do believe. I don't... You know what? You know what? I'm gonna make him my friend. Then I'm... Okay, this is just... This is for his own sake, okay? Just so he doesn't follow me down the mountain. Check this out. There we go. I've just knocked him unconscious, but I'm not gonna kill him. See, it's just an innocent dog. I don't need... He doesn't need to die. See? I'm turning yeah. over a new leaf. <laughs> I like how knocking a dog unconscious is suddenly... Whoa. A moral improvement, but uh... Whoa. Baby steps, baby steps. Whoa. Okay. So I need to heal as we're falling down this hill here. Pop a few more of these spells. And keep myself healed up and boosted. There we go. Oh, that's a long drop. Boof. We're fine. Emergency aid helps us out as well. Okay, with him dead and that Minotaur ignored, 
we're gonna head off to Nornal, which is right by Shadenhall. And it's a good thing we stopped by Shadenhall too, because right north of Shadenhall, there are two portals that we gotta clear. These are some of the last ones in the northern area of, of Cyrodiil. Essentially, if you divide it into sections, this northern area here, we've cleared everything except for two near Shadenhall and two near Coral. Other than that, this entire top area has been cleared. Then there are some in the area between Skingrad and Breville, some here on the side and quite a few down in Blackwood. And of course up here near uh, County Kavach area, there are some. So once we are in the area, and we can clear a portal in a minute, I think we're gonna be making some sweet, sweet progress. A fort is up ahead. Interesting. Uh, I kind of want to just do Dark Brotherhoods to. <gasps> oh no! Pay up or else. Ah, uh, this is bad. Here. You're smarter than you look. Oh, thank you. What can I do for you? Uh, <laughs> uh I I don't know. Um, uh, rumors. Have you ever met anyone who got rich betting on the arena? <laughs> I didn't think so. I guess we're friends now. Take care. Take care. <gasps> uh, Mountain lion? Uh, no, my new friends. Oh, this I won't stand for this. Oh. <gasps> no, nobody is gonna let my friends live. He's just protecting me. He wanted a nice conversation with me, and things always go off the rails. All right. I'll put this mountain lion out of. Oh, he d uh, and a boar. <laughs> what is going on tonight? Okay, the boar is. Everybody's ganging up on my new best friend. It's kind of. Oh wow. Since when did a guard and a boar work together? You're talking to a boar. I don't think he has any concept of the might of the Imperial Legion. I think. Speak. How are you? Crime doesn't pay. We have long memories. We won't forget. Why have the guards started saying that? That's so ominous. Carry on. Carry on. I'll just be taking this, which is probably worth a few weeks of pay for you. Whatever. All right. I think we have too many Daedric battle axes right about now. Then again, maybe we're just not wearing the right thing. With Wanderer's Ease, I can make all the bad choices I want. Ooh, a horse. I should probably not touch that. Because that's not mine. That would be theft. And we don't do that kind of thing around here. Is that... Oh, mmm. Guys? Pop quiz. Which alien ruin is that? Hmm? Right by the sewers? You know which ruin it is. It's freaking Wolverine. And I'm coming to get him. I'm gonna get ya. I'm gonna get ya. Hello. You gotta stop by here every once in a while. Just say hello to the to the residents. Goof. Alright, just grab what we can. Thank you. Oh wow. Some of those arrows really hurt me, my good sir. Onto the fires. Brum, 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 brum. I think I took some huntsman pants there. Oh well. For all time's sake. Perfect. Uh, ooh. Sleeping under a garlic cluster. They say that brings luck. I'll just have a quick little nap. Boom, boom, boom. You've ascended to level 38, everybody. And we're gonna hit that personality cap, no problem. Still gonna be exciting to see what our final max level turns out to be. Now one could always manipulate it by spending time in jail and lowering major skills, which we haven't done yet. We haven't actually lowered any major skills in jail. So we'll see if I end up doing that because I want to end at a round number like 50. But you oh, smell a death. that <laughs> is f fair. That's very fair. Should probably wash myself once in a while. Oh, hello. Goodbye. So, next contract is gonna be a big one. Next Dark Brotherhood contract is gonna begin sort of the next 
leg of the Dark Brotherhood journey, which is going to start going from more than just mindless killing here and there, so I do look forward to it. There was a mine there, but I don't know if I want to clear dungeons at the moment. I kind of just want to do quests, because the quests are going to lead me to dungeons, and I don't want to clear it twice. Uh, yeah, I think we're just going to be questing for now. We're going to do a real dungeon spree later on, but for now we might as well do as many quests as we can. Because right now it's Dark Brotherhood, Fighter's Guilds, Portals, then we do Paradise, then we clear every dungeon, then we master every skill, then we go light the dragon fires. And end it all. I have arrived at Nornal. It was actually inside the ruin. Now we've been here before and cleared it, I'm 99% sure. So... Let's maybe look for... Kudunk. Ooh, actually I shouldn't be killing... There are many rats in here. Oh, is he gonna get... Uh, I think you wanna... No, me. Wow. Impressive. We could test out some of the training theory. We can't, I'd want more than just three rats. Still though. So we're wearing some light armor. And heavy armor. So heavy armor is right now at 28%. That's at 30%. So they're around 30%. Let's have some fun with these rats. Hello. That's you. That's you. Let's get out all of them. Aggroed. Let's get all of them over here. They're really stupid. Oh my gosh. I'm right here. Alright. Spend just a little bit of time here. And after a couple of seconds... Light armor has gone up to 67 and heavy armor is at 36. That went that went from 30 to 67. Heavy armor didn't really go up all that much though. And then we can also block a little bit as well. Because I can block one of them while I let the other two not at me. And with that and I could also technically um, practice athletics by moving. So this is sort of the sort of wombo combos that I want to think of. And that's a light armor skill. That's kind of insane. And heavy armor seems... I mean, heavy armor is a base skill, so it is going to take longer. But that was dramatically longer as well. C could we change that pro... They were just wearing light armor. I don't know if I even have heavy armor with me other than the shield. Because I was just wondering if the shield was somehow not giving me the correct... Huh. Regardless, that's cool. And boosh. Madness, those rats. Oh, there was another one there. But, so, the more rats we have, imagine running through an entire dungeon and just getting 10 rats. If Oh, there's a dog here too. Oh, it is just a normal dog. Oh. What's the point? We're just gonna end up killing him anyways. Why even get our hopes up? Hello, Marauder Archer. I don't really want to come here and clear this like a normal ruin. Uh, you do have some heavy armor on you though, which is cool. But I actually came here to go and pick up some contracts, but killing just comes so naturally to me now. Though I think I still want to try and uh, get those contracts. Let's do Wanderer Combo. Uh, whoop. So we already pushed those and... Oh, there's rats and mud crabs. This could be really good too. Okay, Nornal is a contender. Nornal is a contender for somewhere we can grind our skills. Don't really want to do a big old grind yet. Other than stuff like grind speechcraft to 70 before we reach Anvil to do the speechcraft trainer quest while we're there. That sort of stuff. But... Okay, submerged... Slaughterfish, no? Hey, at swimming increases athletics. 79. Now it's only gonna take 31 hours. Yeah. Whoop. So I've probably gone too deep in here. Goodbye. And I'm running in circles. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have been in here at all. Probably should have just followed the green arrow, shouldn't I? I got a little carried away, I'm sorry. Well, well, it was right there. Dead Drop Order 7. Quest complete. A kiss before 
dying. All right, I want to read this one. My compliments on another job well done. Havelstein Horblood was more swine than man and deserved to die quivering like an animal. You must not stop. You must kill again. Wow, Lucian, calm down. Your next target is a wood elf named Ungolum who resides in the city of Breville. Hey, we've seen him around. Breville is also home to an ancient statue known as the Lucky Old Lady. It is seen as a symbol of good luck and prosperity. And the fools of Breville often speak to the statue and wish for good tidings. Like we, we do every time we stop by. Every night, poor love-struck Ungolum visits the lady and pleads desperately for the heart of a young maiden. This maiden is married and her husband has learned of Ungolum's affection for his bride. He fares for the competition, it would seem, and has commissioned a dark brotherhood to help in the matter. He must go to Breville, locate Ungolum and kill him. The wood elf owns a house in the city, but he spends his days securely locked inside. I recommend you lie in wait at the lucky old lady statue and then eliminate Ungolum when he arrives for his nightly visit. He's generally there between the hours of 6 p.m. and 1 a.m. By all accounts, Ungolum is a deadly archer and a fearless opponent. I also have reason to believe he's ex expecting trouble, so if Ungolum senses danger, he may attack you on sight. And, like the Gaji Jagasta, Ungolum has bribed the guards to look the other way if there's a fight so they won't interfere. Be vigilant and bring the wood elf down, you must not fail. When Ungolum's body lies broken at the foot of his dear lady, you must journey to the city of Anvil. Your dead drop is in a barrel located behind the statue in the ponds. Alright, Ungolum. Deadly Archer, inappropriate praying, dude. Okay, got it. Well then, to Breville we go. Right, we were supposed to be clearing some portals north of Shaden Hall on the way. I kind of forgot all about that. Whoopsie daisy. That's fine though. Doesn't really matter. We'll be going to Shaden Hall for fighter skilled anyway in the future, so it's not like that really matters. Whoop! Oh, that fashion though. We need to find the town. Yeah, we're gonna sell some things off in Breville before we f stuff up in the streets. And go. Am I a fool? Yeah, there is no hotkey on nine, so I don't know why I keep pressing nine. I think that's supposed to do something. That's been hampering my hotkey stacking lately. My buff stacking. Whew. Using hotkeys. I really like using hotkeys. Just, I would go insane if I had to go into the menu for every spell I'm gonna equip. It would also be an infuriating experience to watch. So, there's no portal spawned here. This was a potential spawning spot. And we know that over on the other sides, we've cleared one portal down here. And we cleared a portal up by the shore. And we've also cleared the portal that's over there, so there are no portals here. Okay, good. Yes, that is the entrance to the Shivering Isles. Dark, will they do the Shivering Isles? I don't know. Will I? Who knows? Who can really say? Whoop. Now. And Golem should come out at night, so we have the day to do some shopping. Oh. Wonderful. So we gotta look the part when we come up behind them. Maybe get a bit of shrouded armor on. What is the best merchant in Nanbru Braville? Don't yeah, they have an archer that has quite the good deals. The Archer's Paradox. Ooh, and he's probably gonna have sick cash now that we're a master of mercantile. If he would actually keep his store open. Hopefully I haven't killed him around the world randomly. Hello! I... I require... a merchant. Oh, Marina's so rude. Shop's locked, she just breaks in, then it's disappointed nobody's there. When, when are you at work, my man? I mean, it's Sunday, so maybe it's just... It's the day. Oh my gosh. <gasps> maybe the adoring fan is waiting for us at our Breville house. No. That was a silly hope. A silly hope indeed. But now... Where could he... 
possibly be? I guess I'll just have to stand there and wait for him to come on back. Let Angolum do a pass. Okay, 12 p.m. Thank you. He was probably off visiting his cousin or something. Uh, there we go, Diane Lynn. The archer's paradox. Because a perfect arrow flies forever, and that's impossible. I'm Danelin, and I have no perfect arrows. You might want to buy some arrows from me. Armor, actually. weapons, I have it all. How may I help you? No buy deal. An arrow. No deal. You listen to me, you little punk. A bar. A fuck. You drive a hard bargain. I do. You. I'm gonna buy a couple that, that, of iron that, arrows. For some reason, it's just like, hey. I would you can buy infinite you, arrows if you want. I'm like, oh, cool. You can have this. Yes, 2k. That's all right. Sell off a couple of Daedric battle axes. Like, where did you get this? Boop, boop. No, it's just all a good the local bandit had it. You know, customer. like they do. That's more than I'd usually pay. Oh, boots. It is more than you would usually that, pay, actually. That, I don't need to sell things one by one. Why am I doing that still? We're a master now. A master of mercantile. Okay. Good. That makes a. Oh, I almost didn't see those pants there. Good. We're gonna need like 11k arrows though, but I can buy those sometime. Good day. Another time. Okay. We've eased our burdens, pushed ourselves to 930,000 gold. That's pretty cool. Not that worried about hitting 1 million anymore. I mean, 2 million would certainly be. No, let's not. Let's not go there. Okay. Now then. If he's such a skilled archer. Maybe he should meet someone as good as him. Wow. Definitely don't stop me. I am just a regular citizen. Yes. Lucky old lady. There she is. Wow. Oh, hello. hello. What's your deal? Have I ever talked to you before? Hero of Kavach? Oh. How about the hero of Braville? There. No need to be modest, my friend. I'm the hero of your heart. It's a terrible responsibility being Braville's first citizen of the ale tub. <laughs> but I suffer under the burden like a sure green orc. He's actually kind of nice. You're pleasant. Goodbye. Goodbye. Alrighty. Let's wait for night to fall. <laughs> per oh, no, bro kill, you can't be here. There we go. Get out of here, dude. It's gonna get a little messy. <sighs> okay. Well then. Mr. What's the best we have? 9 for 37. 9 for 38. Frost. Start off with the up. You might want to not be right there at this moment in time. Uh, actually, I'm going to cancel my shots. If it's a fight you want. No, I wanted to get it. Get uh, there we go. I kissed the lucky old lady. Now you cannot. You call that an arrow? This is an arrow. Good night, Ungolem. Oh. Won't you die? Your soul is forfeit. Your blood turns to ice as a familiar shadow approaches. What? No. No! Lucian. I'm too late. I thought I could get here in time. Thought I could stop you. What? By Sithis, what have you done? What madness has claimed you? You have betrayed me. You have betrayed the Dark Brotherhood. Why? I am here 
to end your miserable life, to... But... Uh, I can see the confusion in your eyes. You... You have no idea what I'm talking about. Do you? The music's way too cheerful for this. W what are you talking about, Lucian? Your first dead drop contract. You carried that out. Killed Celadane. After that, you eliminated the Draconis family, as ordered then. Betrayal. Your dead drops went unvisited. Your targets ignored. Instead, you have been systematically killing off all of the members of the Black Hand. Jagasta, Shali, Zuvalovani, Havelstein, Horblood, Speakers and Silencers all, and Ungolum, the Listener himself. <sighs> the surviving members of the Black Hand know you're innocent. They know you are only following orders. They believe I am the traitor. Let me guess. You have a plan? The traitor somehow switched your orders and has been sending you to the wrong dead drops. You and I have been deceived. We must find out who is behind this betrayal. We haven't much time. I'm hunted day and night by the Black Hand. They want me dead. Here is what you must do. Go now to your next dead drop. Lie in wait and confront whomever drops off the false contract. Uncover the true traitor's identity and then come see me. I'll be in hiding. Fort Farragut is no longer secure. It's under watch by the Black Hand. I'll wait for you at Apple Watch. The farm where you killed the old Draconis woman. I remember that. It should be empty and safe. Now go, and may Sithus help us all. Now, that's quest complete. Well, that certainly took a turn. But, Lucian, give me the old classic. Are you mad? Oh. My life is on the line, and the entire Brotherhood Sorry. is at stake. We don't have time for this nonsense. Dear sister, I don't spread rumors. I create them. Sorry, I just... I wanted to hear... I was trying to lighten the mood, but fine. Now go. Learn the identity of the betrayer, so we can end this madness and restore the authority of the Black Hand. I can still loot him, right? Alright, I'm gonna... Uh, so... That's interesting. That probably explains why these notes have been written in a different style. Maybe we should have sensed something. Poor Winter, I'll take. Okay. Sorry about that, lucky old lady. Spilling blood right in front of you. Terrible thing to do. Well then, Anvil. I've been wanting to go to Anvil for a little while now, and now we have the perfect excuse. But. We've also been told to go to Leowin for the Asani Blackheart quest. So, I say we should follow that one for now. Because I do believe maybe a future fighter skill quest is going to take us to Anvil. Wouldn't that be great? I really like where the Dark Brotherhood goes after this. This is sort of one of the big... If if it just sort of ended with, ah, you've killed enough targets now, now you are the listener. That wouldn't be spectacular in any way. However, this... Bit of a twist. Twist. Boom, boom, boom. Twist. That's what I like to see. Hello, Mr. Bort. Goodbye, Mr. Bort. Should we get our robes on? Yeah, let's not be... Obviously assassin. Let's only be... Assassin upon further inspection. Yes. The best kind. Let's finish casting the spell. Get Mother's Mercy. Thank you. That's a troll. Goodbye to you. Okay. So, that's a bear. There are gonna be so many bad things, and I honestly cannot be bothered to deal with them anymore. Back in the beginning, everything we met along the road was a danger. 
It's either something to be run from or be fought. This time... Hmm, it's there. I acknowledge their presence, but... That's about it. Now, as we're coming along this road, I do believe there's quite a few bog beacons around a nearby <coughs> pond over here. And I would very much like to harvest some, yes, around this tree. Because they do make Restore Magicka. I like how he's focused on fo Oh! He was hunting or something. Oh! Doink! <laughs> he was really going after the mud crab. Run away! Indeed. Let me just steal that from you. And good night. Gadoosh. <laughs> uh, I stole your dagger. What you gonna do? Bow in close quarters? Yeah. No. Thank you. Try to summon his ancestor ghost. What? Give me that. Thank you. And this. That, 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 that. Ooh, Will o' the Wisp. Hello. Time to exact some revenge on you for all the trouble I've had killing you throughout this series. And there's still somebody after me, so I think we're just gonna say adios and be on our way. Let's go. Now, coming down this way, there is a potential portal on the map, but I don't think it has spawned since we haven't encountered it before. So we should be... I should be able to mark that portal off as not spawns. Which is good. Fewer locations that we have to check to make sure there's nothing bad here. I do wonder if Masoga the Orc is still alive. We might stop by the White Stallion Lodge, is that what it's called? And check it out. And good night, get these, and there we go. I feel like looting has become very automatic. We sort of know what to pick up at this point, we know what to leave behind. Yeah. I'm just gonna chart up the truncheon with a grand soul because I can. Okay, some of these that aren't super interesting, I'm gonna make stuff like mithril boots that I'm gonna name D. Because of D's boots. Fortify health. I think I want to do it on cheap stuff, because it gets a big sell price either way. Because uh, stuff like daggers, they sell quite okay and it, regardless, so... Room. I should actually pick up more clothing items just so I can enchant them. Okay. Here we are. We've been down here. Yeah, Water's Edge. This is where the Emelian's Tomb quest for the Fighter's Guild is. Where you can go into the tomb and gather the old artifacts in order to pay off a debt, or you can just be like, hey, here's a couple hundred golds. Enjoy. And it's all it's all over. Sorta of nice. Whoop. Masoga, please tell me you live. Maybe she's out and about. So I do kind of want to stop by. We do have that... What's the cavern called? Oh! Hello, I for almost forgot about you. I remember once I was gonna make an episode, I ran into that one to clear it before I was like, hold him, hold on a minute, this isn't the portal outside of Leowin. Well, it is, but it's not the portal outside of Leowin. So, it doesn't count. It's not what the count was once. English. But I like the fact that there's a bridge that spawns. Please don't give me that realm, and thank you, let's go! Not even gonna bother with the timer on this one. Just gonna enjoy... Whoop! A little toe dip of lava. Whoop! Ah, that was a unlucky hit right there. If I'd been a bit higher, wouldn't have lost speeds. Let's get to the top. And there we are, at the top. You did not miss anything of interest. Goodbye. Yeah. Sure. That's the battle, you old fool. There we go. Try my block skill a little bit, will ya? That face. Will. Will. Goodbye. <laughs> it still said you found a gate to oblivion by the time it closed. That's a little funny. Okay, that's like gate 41 cleared. 
And we can head up to, what was its name? Undertow Cavern? Yes. Here we are. We've cleared this place before. This time I think we're just gonna do a super quick run of it. Don't even know if I can be bothered to kill the bandits. It kinda depends. They're a little fun to kill, to be honest. Black bows. Let's see. Mm. There we go, there's a chest over here, some security training. Haha! -ha! Ha -ha! Security and sneak gonna be super easy skills to train up. I don't know if I talked about the ways that we can train sneak, but we have we can either sneak next to somebody who's unconscious or you know sleeping or just anybody. We just need to sneak by somebody who's alive. Or, we can pickpocket somebody, open the pickpocket window, and there are NPCs in the game who don't mind you pickpocketing them. they are just like, ah, oh, take it, it's worthless to me anyway. And so, if you find one of them, we can just continually touch their bums and get lots of experience, which is pretty fun. Now, the reason we are in Undertow Cavern is because it has quite a few boss chests, so let's just make our way over to them rather quickly. Hey guys! We don't really need to kill these fools, the do. but here we still are, doing what we can. Kudush. <laughs> okay, okay. I think maybe we're out of restore magicka potions. We are actually. Yeah, I've been a bit too liberal with those. My travel spells have really made that. Okay, we need to start using poisons. Whoa. There we go, that helps. Okay, we're actually out of Magicka potions. I'll have to make a couple of new ones, but I should probably stop by an alchemist once we get to Leowen. Buy a bit more. Just keep our eyes open for the bog beacons of this area. And get some security training. Goodbye. So, this is the chamber. Don't let me down. Undertow Cavern, hold your breath. Let's see. And let's go. We're gonna go in here. And here we go. The skill book. Heck yeah. Ooh, Greaves of Spell Consumption. That's interesting. Spell Absorption Effect. That's cool. That is cool, I'll take it. Now I, we need to go over to, where's the other chest? Mm. So I think there are two master chests in the water, right? And then there's one in an earlier room that I think oh. I missed. All ah. oh, right, breath, that's the thing. I almost drowned, that's interesting. I thought there were two chests. Maybe I misremember. Dun, 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 dun. Unless it's over here. The Black Arrow Volume 2. I don't think we need that one. Uh, I think I pasted in the things that we need down here. Uh, no. Don't need the Black Arrow Volume 2, but I still, I still appreciate it. It's a nice thought. It was a nice thought. I'll just take it and be on my way. But still, we've actually gotten quite lucky with the rates of finding them, even if they're not what we want, it's still... Ah! Don't run full speed into those, I guess. It's still uplifting to see how frequent we can find them. Here we go! Whoosh. Mr. Blackbow Bandit! Good night! <laughs> Let's see, is this a black bow? Thank you! Haha! -ha. What will you do now? You're just a bandit! She couldn't live with it. It was too much. Okay. Let's get some of the blacksmith pants, yes. I'm gonna call them D. Because that key was just closest to my finger. 
That's the level we're at right now. Mithril Boots, D. <laughs> Shield 20%. E. D, 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 E. Look at the sell prices on these things, man. That's insane. Okay, so we need to carry a bit more, which means that we're gonna get Wanderer's Ease on. And we still have one more shot of a skill book. Heck yeah, bring it on. Here we come. The Black Arrow Volume 2? What are the odds? I don't need the Black Arrow. It's probably a great book, but I don't need the Black Arrow Volume 2. All right. Back to back. Same skill book. Crazy. Well,. Better make sure we check out this cave again in the future. Should respawn in a week's time. All the bandits will just come back from the dead. Do you want to poison them? Yes. Right, we're out of magicka. That's a negative of using all these travel spells. I oh, hello. Relian. A pleasure to speak with you. Are you... Is he one of the... He's not one of the fighter skill people who said it. Who are you? They say a lost son of Uriel Septim has reappeared in Bruma. Yeah. Troops are flocking to his banner from all over Cyrodiil. Are you from Leowin? Bye. I don't really know who Relian is. I can't remember meeting him before. It's so cool that you can still find people like that. <sighs> I have your horse right here. So certain Gajita doesn't work at the stables anymore. We made sure of that. Okay, so, yes, I know, that's usually my hotkey for different stuff, but now we're out of Restore Magicka. So sad. Dividing line, we should go and sell off some of our stuff, because we're quite heavy. Then we gotta go and do the Asani Blackheart quest, now that we've arrived. Now that Modrin has asked us to go and do all these secret things. A pleasure things. to speak with you. Uh, Have a look at my wares. I'm sure there's something to suit you. That's that's you got to be. There we go. But that stack I couldn't buy more of. It's strange. Uh, I could give that to the You've count, but that's a lot of hassle. One thousand eight hundred gold, not price. great, but I'll take it. It's worth customer. it. Just getting it out of my inventory. But now that we sell them for so much, just look at our 940,000 already. Oh my You've gosh. Got this is insane. This is so insane then. Let's sell off all the enchanted stuff. 954,000. That, 964,000. A, a good price for a good customer. Oh, damn. Nine not for thank you for Yes, thank you. Oh. Goodbye. I need an alchemist. Alchemist, where is the alchemist? I might have to go to the That's not the spell I wanted. Gosh darn. Did you hear how upset? Oh, did you hear? There is no alchemist in town. It should be right by the Mage's Guild. Oh my god. I'm, I do not spend enough time in Leowin. There we go. Blackwood Company. They're here too? I mean, I guess this is their main headquarters, so they would be here. Books. Ask him if he has gotten any rare... That would be cool if they can just get rare skill books uh, occasionally in stock. Okay. Alchemists. I am actually that would be you. For anything to purchase today? Sniffing that potion. Have a look at my wares. I'm sure there's something to suit you. Yes. There might be. First though, I want some... We have plenty of damage poisons for now. Just I can buy more ingredients when I need deal. to. Just gonna go for restore health and restore magic, I do believe. Yeah, something like that. That was not great. Return anytime. I think it's gonna be best if we just keep our eyes open for bog beacons when we're out. That's the easiest way of getting some more of these sweet ingredients. Bum bum. 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 
Okay, we gotta be a little careful now with the lack of Restore Magicas. Lightweight Fighter Skills. Here we are. Wonderful. Morning. Good news from Kvatch for a change. The last of the yeah, like have been half a year ago. Hmm. hmm. When Sedrasa isn't teaching alchemy, he spends all oh, yes, his time indeed. researching a cure for skooma addiction. I've heard he never leaves his laboratory. Sakasha, Madre, friend. Sugar oh. and Sands. Good day. Hello. We need to check out Arpinia. Come on, I'll follow you. Do you need something? <gasps> Yes, we got a follower, and he's gonna follow us. Is that what the follower does? Modern, I think this is gonna be a very interesting relationship. Well then, guys and girls, looks like we got another follower on our team, which on one hand is really cool, on another hand, how will I kill things now? Well, Rata Potions. We have a burden to carry, but still, we'll be going out into the swamps of Leowin, and we better, better be prepared for whatever comes. But what a twist this episode was, wasn't it? Have a still good day, take care, and stay awesome. But most importantly, everybody, stay dark. Goodbye. <laughs>